Now, do we have the creative project for you? Amy Guth is here. Amy, now you're a self-taught DIY expert. Pretty much, I see a problem that I need to solve and I just jump right in. And you have a custom bench for us today that'll fit just about any small space. Yes, and best of all, it is made out of pallets, so it's all recycled materials and they're usually free. And when I think of recycled materials, I think of the Rebuilding Exchange. Let's go in, check it out, see if they have some. Let's do it. All right, Amy, I told you the Rebuilding Exchange wouldn't let us down. Here are plenty of pallet options. These are gonna be great. These are the right size. They're a little bit deep for a bench, so what I wanna do is cut them in half uh, as we start to assemble our pallet. Okay. And you're confident we can do it all by ourselves? I know that we can. This is, be, this is gonna be super, super easy. Okay, well I tell you what, let's safety gear up, get the tools, and get started. The tools and supplies for this project are pretty simple. First, you need the pallets. We're using two for this bench. We need a tape measure, then you'll need something to cut them with. We're going with a circular saw and then a reciprocating saw to finish the ends. We need safety gear, a drill and screws, an orbital sander with medium grit paper, and a coating to protect the wood. We're going with teak oil. Now we're just gonna do this right on the floor? Yeah, it's super easy. You can do this absolutely anywhere, your backyard, your garage, driveway, whatever. Now who's gonna work, who's gonna work the saw today? Me. You? Yeah. All right. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is measure. So let's pull this right up here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure right across the top to make sure that we're cutting right in the middle because we're gonna have to stack two halves. We're gonna have to kind of make two cuts because the saw is not deep enough to go all the way through these Shh. midpoints. Yeah. So we'll make this cut and then we'll flip it over and we'll get the things that we missed and these ends. Nice cut, Amy. All right, so we got that part. So now we're gonna flip and get these ends and the edges. Time to bring in the reciprocating saw. Definitely, and you know what? I'm not gonna do all the work here. I want you to do some work too. You really? Do this. Yeah, you do this part. You've never seen the show, have you? <laughs> I have, and that's why I'm daring you. Here, all right, go for it. let's do it. Challenge yourself. All right. Oof. Gorgeous. That was hard work. I'm sweating. I think we need to take these pallets and make a bench ASAP because I need a place to sit down. Fair enough, let's go. All right. Once we get our pallets home, the rest is pretty simple. So what is the first step? First step, assemble. We're gonna screw them all together so it's okay. nice and sturdy, so it's one just one big unit. So we wanna make sure that this wood doesn't crack, so we're gonna put a couple Shh. of pilot holes in there just to make sure, just to help guide the screws in a little bit easier. So a couple screws in front and a couple in the back and we should be good to go with this. That's it, yep. And we're just gonna repeat that on each layer and then we are all set. This is super, super easy. All right, cue the montage. Look at that, looking there good. We, go. we pick up our new pallet bench and take it outside for a quick sanding with medium grip paper. If you don't have an orbital sander, you could just clean up the edges with a sanding sponge and some elbow grease. Boom, all right, so we've got it sanded, so now we're gonna put teak oil on it and finish it off. But here's the thing, you can do whatever you want, that's the beauty of pellets. I see you have uh, the oil ready and a couple rags, so that yep. means you're gonna put me to work on this as well. Exactly. We go to it with the rags and a brush, which will help get the oil into the cracks and corners. After the first coat, we let it dry about 15 minutes and then put on a second coat to make sure it's protected. That second coat, you want it to completely cure out about six to eight hours okay. before you sit on it or put cushions or anything like that. And with magical TV editing, this sucker is ready for the outdoors, where Amy adds a few finishing touches. It looks really great out here. It's kind of cozy in the middle of the city, and it's definitely a DIY anybody with a nice outdoor space could try. What do you say we give it the ultimate test, the Ryan test? You first. <laughs> Oh, that is nice. And once this balcony is all tricked out with plants and lanterns and stuff, it's gonna be really, really awesome. Amy, it was a pleasure. Thanks very much.